Hey guys, uh, the last 48 hours has been a, uh, <clears throat> a roller coaster of events and emotions. And uh, this all started uh, almost a week ago when my father was tested positive for coronavirus. Um, quick action was taken. Uh, he was immediately put on uh, some supplemental oxygen because uh, he was having a hard time breathing. <clears throat> and he was at, I think it was 52%, which is extremely low. Uh, acceptable or normal ranges are between, I think, 94 and 97, something in that range. But he bounced back and looked to be uh, making a, a, a decent recovery, I guess. And um, but then he uh, had another another episode um, several days later, and uh, it was much more serious this time. So it was, uh, I want to say it was Thursday morning, um, Friday morning, Friday morning. He woke up and um, at some time in the early morning, he had a, a high fever and um, as high as 102. Again, having uh, trouble breathing and his uh, blood pressure was very, very high, like up to 150. Um <clears throat> Yeah, it's uh, and we knew at that point he he tested positive for Corona, and who knows what else was going on uh, with maybe the lungs? Could there be pneumonia present? So anyway, he was rushed to the hospital Friday, just so that uh, he was in a position for better, you know, better care, uh, more, a place that's more equipped. Of course, a hospital over a senior center is going to have definitely state of the art equipment and. Uh, it's just facilitated with some of the, the best people there, equipment, whatever, to handle uh, serious situations such as this. But he did. He, uh, they found that he has a pneumonia. One uh, lung has it more than the other. And um, they had him on a BiPAP machine. He was uh, doing well with that and so well that they took him off it and they just left those little two nose plugs in and and he was getting minimal, I guess, oxygen because he was breathing well on his own. He was actually pain sensitive at first, uh, but then became hearing sensitive as well, which is a good sign. Um, and he also moved his bowels, which is a great sign to, you know, to, it's an indicator that your body is functioning, you know, on its own. Um, so Saturday, it was really, really looking good. And... <clears throat> He, uh, in the morning, I got a phone call 3 a.m., 3.30 in the morning from the doctor saying that he had took a turn for the worst and asking for permission to have him on a ventilator. So uh, there are definitely more extreme measures because my dad was having a hard time breathing. And it wasn't because he didn't have enough oxygen in his bloodstream, but just the, the actual effort, the physical exertion that it takes to just breathe, that was, uh, that was taxing on him. So that's why the, the uh, ventilator was brought in. Um, so right now he's, uh, he's sedated. He's, he's in a very calm state. He's, uh, he's, he's relaxed. And there's not much that we can do right now and just hope that he, uh, his body reacts and responds uh, to what treatment he's, being, he's been given and uh, that he comes off the ventilator and, and can breathe on his own. Uh, what they'll do is they'll wait a couple of days, three days maybe, just to two days maybe to assess the situation then as to what's going on. Maybe he can then go back to the BiPAP machine and just receive that supplement, uh, supplemental uh, oxygen and just kind of go from there. So, But it's like step by step, day by day, and just got to you know, hope that he, he pulls through on this. Um, it's been really, really hard. Uh having a hard time eating, you know, sleeping. And that last video I just had of him was uh, the first time I saw him in in a, at least a week. And then before that, I haven't seen him in a person in, for almost two months. So Corona has really like <clears throat> uh, uprooted everything that we, we were doing. And um, I, I'm accepting of 
dementia. And I knew, I th- thought for sure that would be the, the thing that's going to take him out, you know, um, as a result. But now here we're contending with something totally unexpected. And it's really beaten up my father, you know, between the dementia, the, the, the coronavirus, and then you have the pneumonia in the lungs. It's hard on him. And um, <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, I share this video with all of you because I know you've been with me for a long time, me and my father. And many of you have been with us since day one, back in July of 2017, when I started this whole series. Um, and the people who I want to thank for inspiring me to to make this decision, to pu- push through and do do this, to try to raise awareness and, and help others. And uh, is Carmen Abella Burns? Uh, Vince Zangaro and Joey Daly. These are three people who are caregivers and are strong enough to put themselves with their loved ones out into the, the public's eye uh, in an effort to try to make a change. And that's that's what I was trying to do. And I hope uh, whatever we did, I hope it uh, it touched your hearts and it has made you better people as, as a result. Because um, I know what I've been through with my dad it changed my life. And I have no regrets. Oh, man, no regrets. I had some beautiful moments with my dad. We created some great, great memories. And I'll have them forever. Now I have them on, online. And if I ever want to go back and look at those and smile, I have them. And um, I don't know where we're at right, ne- right now. I don't know where where we're going to go with this or what's going to happen. But I just figured it's only right that I give you guys an update because you've been there for a long time, just being very supportive. Because there's times in my own world, my own personal world, you don't get that kind of support, you know. And I have people in my world who I don't even know who are standing by me, rooting for me and my dad. And it makes me feel good. And you understand because you're in that position yourselves. And I needed it. It helped me cope with this situation. It really did. It it helped me cope. It became my my medicine, and I forgot about what was going on, and I'd just be with my dad. We'd just have a great old time, and hey, if he goes, if it's his time, it's his time, but I, I'm willing to fight. I didn't want the corona to be the thing that was going to take him out, but if he's not ready or he's not strong enough to pull through on this, I, I understand. And I know whatever happens, he's going to be with me. He'll be with me. He'll be looking down on me. But now again, <clears throat> uh, major respect to to those who inspired me to to do this, to try to make a difference in the world, to help other people with our piss poor situation, and try to turn it into a positive. Carmen, daughters with dementia. I think that's her page. I'm not even thinking clearly, but Carmen Abella Burns, Vince Zangaro, and Joey Daly. I don't know. Thank you. But that's where we're at right now. And uh, what sucks is today's Mother's Day. And I just don't think Mother's Day is going to be the same now. You know, I think about my own mother and how she's handling. It's really hard for her. Um, But it's it's what it is. And I just want to say uh, my daddy's. I guess you could say he's, he's in critical but stable condition and he's relaxed and he's, he's calm and there's nothing more I can do. So I have to try to be relaxed and stay calm and try to get back to my normal routine, you know, got to eat, got to sleep. That just, just that alone, it, it gets tough just because you're a little emotional and you don't know what the future holds. But anyway, um, I just hope we, uh, we made a, 
a dent in your world. Everyone at home was watching this video and, and it was a positive influence and helped you guys make better decisions. And, you know, we, uh, we, uh, I don't know. That's all I really need to say, I guess, but I'll keep you guys posted as to what's going on. And I love all of you and, and thank you so much for your support. And I say that on behalf of my family and my dad, you guys are great.